Action News 5. A man working two jobs shot and killed while trying to go to work at FedEx early this morning. Justin Jaggers continues our team coverage. He spoke with his neighbors as police search for the gunman who pulled the trigger. 59-year-old Jarvis Hines was gunned down right in front of his home. To neighbors, he was always a nice guy that was always willing to lend a hand. See how I look? Well, it's, it's, it's bad. Claudia Somerville has lived in this neighborhood for years. She says the neighborhood has changed, and when she heard about the death of her neighbor and the record number of homicides in Memphis? Uh, homicides. Tag, I'm, not, I'm not surprised. According to police, 59-year-old Jarvis Hines, known as JT to his neighbors, was shot as he was getting ready for work at FedEx. Police say Hines was shot in the jaw. I was about to come ready to see nothing, but his truck parked and his lights was on. And I came out the door, and I was like, what's going on? She was like, somebody shot my baby. And I was like, really? And then she was like, oh, that's when I saw him sitting in the truck like this. Hines' neighbor called the ambulance. He didn't want to be shown on camera. He says he'll never forget what he saw. It's like a feeling that you will never get over. Other neighbors saw that Jarvis Hines was always willing to offer a helping hand. He kind of looked out for me, you know, uh, you know, when house is vacant. Nice guy. I used to just see him all the time. I used to wave, speak, how you doing? Now, at this time, investigators do not have any suspect information. If you know anything, we urge you to call Memphis Police. Reporting in Memphis, Justin Jaggers, WMC Action News 5. And the question now, what are Memphis City leaders doing to try to combat these alarming numbers? Sasha Jones is live with Mayor Jim Strickland's office with what the mayor is saying it will take to get control of the violence in our city. Sasha. Mayor Strickland.